Welcome back, you're watching Impossible Color. Today's video is the third of the four part series that will teach you how to apply makeup in Photoshop. Today I'll be covering lips and blush, and we'll be working with the same file that we used in the last video when we went over contouring. It's a super easy video, so I encourage you to try it out uh, with your own headshots. First thing you want to do is to create a new layer, and we're going to cover the lip liner first. You use your brush tool and pick a color that's roughly close to what you want for your lipstick. Zoom in nice and close so you can see what you're doing. And just start to outline the lips and try to get them as symmetrical as you can if they're slightly asymmetric. You use short sweeping motions in this like kind of a circular motion around the cusps of the lips. It'll help it look more natural. Don't worry if they overlap a little bit. And once that's done, pick a slightly lighter shade for the actual lipstick. And with a soft brush, just fill that all in. Make sure it blends into the lip liner so it doesn't give a cheap fake look. Now to blend that in with the, the model that's underneath, use a layer blending mode of overlay. And that gives you the basic lipstick. You can do little touch-ups at this point if you like. Now to make this look natural, we're gonna need to do a little bit of a blur because there are hairs and little pores that are on the lips, so it wouldn't just be a perfect line. We'll go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Just select a value that blurs it slightly, pretty low on the scale, and we'll turn down the opacity to the shade that we want. Now, if we want to change the colors and other values, we go to Hue Saturation Adjustment Layer. And if you select Alt and click between the layer and the one below it, then it will apply just to the lips. Now, the great thing about the adjustment layer is we can change it at any time and we can adjust the hue, we can try out any color we want for the model, saturation and also the lightness, so you can go more nude or more stark, depending on the look. That looks pretty good for this model. And the next thing I'd like to do is add some shine or some gloss to the lips. First I'll just put this, name this the lipstick layer, and I'll put both of these into a folder make it easy to see the before and after. For the new group, we'll just call Lips. Now if you pick a layer, pick any layer that is not an adjustment layer, and go to Select, Color Range, and select Highlights, and click OK. Now make sure that your lip layer is on and go Edit, Copy, Merge. Now this will copy all the layers that you'd see on the screen. And go Edit, Paste Special, and Paste in Place. Paste in Place is great because it puts it exactly where you need it. Now move that layer, the gloss layer, up above all the other lip layers that you've made, and set it to Screen. Now we're going to create a layer mask and where it's black, it's going to hide it. So we're just going to apply it with a white brush and paint on the lips wherever we want the lip gloss. Now you could have used the lipstick layer as a guide for your layer mask, but I like painting it on. I like to go slightly above the lips to give a super shine. Now that looks really strong and it's a good way to start off, but you can turn down the opacity to something a little bit more natural. And I like the look of that for my model. You can always go in and change it later if you like. Now we're going to create a new layer and call it blush. 
A great way to start with your blush is to actually sample your lipstick color. And blush, usually if you carry it from the top of the ear and create a sweeping motion, arching down to the lips, a good place, try to find the spot between the contour of your cheekbone and the highlight of your cheekbone. and create a blur to blend that in, just like it, as you would with your real blush. And also do the overlay for that layer. Now to do fine adjustments, we're gonna do a hue saturation adjustment layer, just like we did with the lips. And apply that just to the blush. I'm gonna darken it slightly. And you can adjust the, the color and also the saturation to your liking. I'm going to put those into a new uh, layer group. Call it blush. And now we have the blush. And we have the lips. Super easy changes to make. I hope you can try it out for yourself. I'm also going to add a little bit of blush to the chin. Because the model has a round face type, this often balances it out quite nicely. Well, there you have it, side by side, lips and blush. Thanks for checking out Impossible Color and the Makeup Series. Please stick around for the final and I think the most interesting video in the series which will be covering eyes. And that will really help balance out all the other changes that we've done so far. If you found this video useful, you can show your support by clicking thumbs up or subscribing to my channel with the green button below. If you have other useful tips for Photoshop makeup to share with the community, I encourage you to add comments below. And also I'm looking for new ideas for videos to come up. We'll see you next week.